Hello people, welcome back. This is a question from gate 2007 exam. It's for one mark. The statement is find the maximum number of Boolean functions possible on n Boolean variables. Okay. Let us consider the case where number of Boolean variables are three. Okay. These are the three Boolean variables. Now with three Boolean variables, how many inputs are possible? Two raised to the power three. That means eight. These are the eight possible inputs. Okay. So the inputs are two raised to the power three. Okay. Now to define a Boolean function, we need to define the output at all of these eight inputs. Okay. The output can be either zero or one, either zero or one. Here also, the output can be either zero or one. So on. For all of these eight inputs, you can have two possible outputs. Okay. That means for this first input, you have two possibilities. For this one also, you have two possibilities. For this one also, you have two possibilities. Okay. So on, how many are they in number? They are two raised to the power three. Two raised to the power three times. Okay. So the uh, uh, total number will be 2 raised to the power 2 raised to the power 3. So this is your answer when n is equal to 3. Now let's analyze this general case. Let's keep a value of n as it is. Let's not just uh, take a value like here we did. Here we assumed n to be equal to 3. Okay, so here we'll keep n it is n as it is. So you have n variables. How many input combinations are possible? There will be two raised to the power n combinations. At all of these input combinations, you need to define an output to define this function. Okay. Output can only be zero or one because the function is Boolean according to the question. Okay. So you can write zero or one at all of these two raised to the power n combinations. That means you have two possibilities for first input, two for second input, so on. You have two raised to the power n such inputs. Okay. So the answer is going to be two raised to the power, two raised to the power n. Okay. That means C part is correct. Okay. Your answer is two raised to the power, two raised to the power n. Okay. 